Isn't it interesting, not just over the past couple of days with BTPs, or Italian government bonds, but so many other markets are starting to move in new and interesting ways since the start of 2018. Now, Italy might be a special situation. Certainly it's come out a little bit of left field, particularly Mattarella's intervention. But what intrigues me is not that there's been a risk premium suddenly injected back into Italian credit, alternative tier one paper, bail-in debt, Italian, all these kinds of, it's not that it's suddenly happened, it's that the speed and the ferocity of the move. But how can anyone be surprised that when you get some kind of regime shift, that markets in this day and age move much more quickly than what we've become accustomed to over the past, say, 10 years or more, or even previous cycles. When you've got the best bid or offer in nearly every liquid asset around the world today, provided by non-bank financial intermediaries such as algorithms or algorithmic trading or program trading, whose sole objective is to go home at 5 p.m. New York time every day flat with no market exposure, who are monitoring correlations and spillovers by the millisecond because they're running the order books that we all take for granted. And if their systems spot something they don't like, it could be heavy volume in Deutsche Bank put options. It could be someone's buying a lot of pots, puts all of a sudden in euros, or someone is trying to short Santander. They're monitoring all of this for instantaneous correlations. That's the game. So of course, if they see something they don't like, the first thing they do is, oh, we'll widen the bid offer spread or we'll try to lay off risk in a correlated market, or hang on a second, that's now widening. And all of a sudden you get this instantaneous repricing across a range of asset classes. And all it took, as best I understand it having checked, is one committed seller, one seller of BTPs on their primary dealing platform, which is called MTS in Italy, saw every bid evaporate across the entire term structure of the world's second, I think it's third or second biggest government bond market, like that. So Italy has just had its flash crash. It's extraordinary to watch the speed that these changes occur. But if you imagine what could have happened when the ECB stepped back, is this just the warm up act for when the ECB stops buying assets? Or more to the point, how could they ever stop buying assets? So I see what's happened in BTPs as a metaphor for how market structure has changed and how rapidly it will continue to change. <laughs>